You see, camera tech today is amazing. Back in the day, you had to do everything technically. Exposure, focus, color, lighting, everything had to be done manually. So if you were a good technician, in, in the film camera days, you got a variety of work. Maybe you'd shoot a cup of yogurt on white, I did that. Or you'd shoot some architectural work and get paid, I did that. Um, or portraits, did it. Or maybe magazine covers, did it. You see, before photography, there was painting and there was photorealistic painting and that was kind of the thing uh, that royalty and the wealth wanted paintings of something realistic because that way they knew what the Grand Canyon would look, look like or some sort of something that they were not able to easily travel to. So they sent a painter off, the painter would do their thing, come back months later, feel this beautiful painting behind velvet and show it to the king or the queen or whatever and say, this is what the Grand Canyon looks like. And it'd be like, oh, I got it. Then photography came out in an instant, it pretty much killed off the market for uh, photorealistic painters and that's kind of like where surrealism movements in the painting world kind of uh, evolved. So the thing is we got to think of today as the camera is now a paintbrush, right? Because all this stuff technically in the camera it's doing well. For instance you're seeing this video of me, it's sharp, it's in focus, the color's not bad. But there are some things missing, right? So the camera isn't the most important thing. Well, the most important thing is content. Content that serves as king, right? Is your content educational? Is it entertaining? What is it that your content is doing to provide some value? Content that serves your community is king. Well, then audio is prince. The reason why audio is so important in the technical scheme of things is because we hear so differently than we see. Sound will give us an emotional reaction far sooner than than uh, visuals. I mean, we go to a concert and we yell, we're like, oh, we're screaming and stuff. But when was the last time you've gone to a gallery and, and done that? We don't do that with the visuals. Uh, it's almost impossible to, to, I won't say it's impossible, but it's really difficult to get a, at a reaction like that out of people visually. You would have to do it uh, with, with sound. So sound is really important. The problem is the microphones uh, that come with every camera kind of suck. So I'm gonna just go ahead and link to a couple mics uh, in the description below. And I'm actually using one for this take, the last take. I used the Amor mic of the iPhone. Uh, can you hear the difference? What? What? You know, the thing is, you may have good content. You may have uh, good visuals. You may have good audio. You may have really good lighting. But often there's something missing. And that is vision. When you have your vision focused, and it's based on your identity and you have your intention in mind, then your content that serves is natural, right? Your audio, your visuals, all this stuff becomes natural. And then if you're doing this professionally, you're growing your videography business or your photography or your graphic design business naturally because it's you, it's a representation of who you are. It's part of your self-expression. So you naturally wanna tell people about this. You're excited about this. If you're doing this because you wanna make good art and be your best artist and just really feel self-expressed and live a powerful life, it becomes more natural because you know who you are. Now, as you grow as an artist, you will change and you will need to kind of revisit your vision, re-examine who you are. Now, the nice thing is if you subscribe to my channel, you're gonna get videos and tutorials on how to do this stuff. Because it's important that, yeah, it's fun to have the gear and all that cool stuff, but you don't wanna get distracted by that. You want to focus on what's most important first, and that's what's in here, in your heart, and and find out what that is and share that with the world. And then the technical stuff will come because the gear is really good anyways, right? So I hope you dig this video. My name is Julio Shorio with Small Camera Big Picture, and I'll talk to you next time. <laughs> what? What?